السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أنبياء الله جميعا وعلى سيدهم وخاتمهم حبيب إله العالمين أبو القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا وعلى الصفوة الخيرة من أصحابه المنتجبين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي All divine messages and scriptures arrive from God to guide us, to show us the path. And these messages are pure, immaculate. But unfortunately, some followers of these religions, they tamper with these texts. They tamper with these messages. They tamper with these books. In case of previous messages, they tamper with the holy book. In case of the Islamic message, they tamper with the sayings of the Prophet and the history of the Prophet and the Sunnah of the Prophet. Some people come and they have political agenda and they hijack religion to their end. They hijack religion and they change it and they tamper with it. They distort. They change many texts because they are influenced by politics. They are influenced by political games. Scholars are not immune, my friends. Scholars, transmitters of hadith, huffaz, commentators of the Quran, historians, you name it, theologians, they are not immune from this. They are a human being. They could be intimidated. They could be blackmailed. Or sometimes they deviate because they have this virus of bigotry in them. This is a dangerous virus. The virus of bigotry. Ta'asub. Ta'asub. And this ta'asub, this bigotry, did exist during the time of the Prophet. I'll show you how the Ansar they had ta'asub leaning and bias towards their part how muhajireen had bias towards themselves how this group this tribe that tribe they were vying for power they are human beings and god tells us in his book in the holy quran in chapter 2 surah al-baqarah in verse 253, my friends, verse 253 in Surah Al-Baqarah, that we sent prophets and messengers, we sent prophets and messengers, but then later on, their followers, they started fighting among themselves. فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ آمَنَ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ كَفَرْ تِلْكَ الرُّسُلُ فَضَّلْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ مِنْهُمْ مَنْ كَلَّمَ اللَّهِ وَرَفَعَ بَعْضَهُمْ فَوْقَ بَعْضٍ دَرَجَاتٍ وآتينا عيسى ابن مريم البينات وأيدناه بروح القدس ولو شاء الله ما اقتتل الذين من بعدهم من بعد ما جاءتهم البينات Interesting If God had willed those who came after those prophets and messengers wouldn't have fought among themselves after they received the message and they received they received the proofs and they received the knowledge and the evidence they did receive. They knew what is right and what is wrong. But out of bigotry, out of love for this dunya, obsession with the dunya, they started fighting among themselves. But they differed among themselves, the followers of the prophets. Among them those who believed. See it for yourself. The followers of the prophets and messengers, some of them believed and some of them disbelieved. Now you may come to me and say, but this is about Jesus and Moses, it's not about Islam. Okay, let me show you hadith, my friends, in Sunan at tirmidhi This is the book 
the six books in the Sunni tradition. This is Sunan Jami'u Tirmidhi. Bab ma ja'ala tarkabunna sunana man kana qablakum. A chapter titled that the stories of how the Prophet said to his companions that you're going to follow the previous the previous communities means the Jews and the Christians in their traditions. The Prophet is telling his community. So Muslims are not immune from that. Don't assume that Muslims after the Prophet, they didn't differ, they didn't fight. It was a nice you know, community, loving each other, caring about each other, respecting each other. We had a stability, we had democracy. And I'm going to prove to you that Saqifah, the meeting where Abu Bakr was elected, was not democracy from the books of the Sunnis. Sunni references. The references in the school of the Caliphs. I'm going to show you, God willing. So he says the Prophet went <clears throat> when he took off to the Battle of Hunayn. He passed by a huge, apparently huge tree that was revered by the idol worshippers. فَقَالُوا The companions said to the Prophet, يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ اِجْعَلْ لَنَا ذَاتَ أَنْوَاطٍ كَمَا لَهُمْ ذَاتَ أَنْوَاطٍ Can you designate something similar for us as the non-believers have? Those pagans, they have this symbol. So can we have similar symbol? The Prophet فَقَالَ النَّبِي سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ Subhanallah, when the Prophet is surprised and shocked. هَذَا كَمَا قَالَ قَوْمُ مُوسَىٰ اِجْعَلْ لَنَا إِلَٰهًا كَمَا لَهُمْ آلِهَةً وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ لَتَرْكَبُنَّ سُنَّةَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ The Prophet says, you are saying to me exactly what the people of Moses said to their Prophet when they crossed the sea and God saved them and saved their lives and destroyed their enemies, the Pharaoh, after this, you know, this gift from God to them, they came across people who are worshipping a tree. So they turned to Moses and they said to him, Moza, Musa, Moses, oh Moses, can, can we have something similar we can worship? Moses answered them, قَالَ إِنَّكُمْ قَوْمٌ تَجْهَلُونَ So now the companions of the Prophet are doing exactly the same. And the Prophet said at the end of the hadith in Sunan al-Tirmidhi that you're going to follow those who were before you. In other hadiths here in the books of Sahih, the Prophet said to them, you are going to follow the previous communities step by step. Exactly what they did you're going to do. Meaning that you're going to differ after you're a Prophet. Now my friends, let me show you how sometimes Politics, political games, the political establishment impacts the brain and the thinking and the writings of some commentators of the Quran, some early scholars, theologians, scholars, commentators, historians, huffad, transmitters of hadith, how they change the story. Why? Because it was difficult for them to tell you the truth. It was difficult. Why it was difficult? Because some of them lean towards a specific person, specific dynasty. Many of them worked for the Umayyad dynasty. Many of them worked for the Abbasid dynasty. Many of them came after the Umayyad and Abbasid. But God says, وَأُشْرِبُوا فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْعِجْلِ they absorbed the love of the political establishment. They were loyal to the political establishment, either out of fear or because they kiss up. My friends, they want to get a job. They want to get money. Nowadays, there are scholars in Islam in many Muslim countries because they want to keep their post. They want to stay where they are, the imam of this mosque and that sacred mosque and this holy mosque. In this month of Ramadan, wait, two nights from now, on the eve of the 27th, and see for yourself and follow for yourself what the Imam of the Sacred Mosque in Mecca is going to say about the political establishment. 
how he's going to designate part of his qunut in taraweeh, praying for the sultan who's corrupt, the sultan who's sending his airplanes and warplanes to bomb the distressed people of Yemen, the hungry people of Yemen in the month of Ramadan. There is an imam praying for him in the sacred mosque, praying for that tyrant. This is not something new. This has been happening for 1400 years, my friends. Sometimes when we read the history and we see what the scholars did, the gross things they did, the terrible things they did and said, we say, is this right? Can this be possible? Yes, because today you can see it. Today through the media you can see it. You can see how the Imams, they kiss up to the Sultan because he wants to keep his job. And he misleads the nations, not just his nation. Many naive people are misled by such Imams. And those Imams are going to lead those people who follow them and believe in them to the hellfire. وَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ إِلَى النَّارِ God says. So my friends, let me show you an example of how tafsir was changed. The hadith was changed because of politics. They did not tell you the right story. And our duty, my friends, mu'mineen, not just to read and believe, but to investigate, to spend some time. We have to have a critical thinking. We need to have intelligence and open-mindedness when we read the history of Islam and the hadith and the tafsir. We really need to open up. We need to utilize our intelligence. If we don't utilize our intelligence to understand Islam and religion, then where should we use our intelligence? Where else? Where else more worth it than religion itself, than what God wants us to know? Let me show you an example, a few examples tonight. When it comes to Mubahala, Mubahala was an incident that almost 99% of the historians and commentators on the Holy Quran agree, they have consensus, that it happened in the ninth year of Hijrah. A group of Christians from Najran, Najran, part of Arabian Peninsula in the south, it's on the border today with Yemen, came to Medina to explore Islam to know Islam, to ask the, 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 the Prophet some questions about his new religion, which is something good, something very good that Christians were doing. They came to understand firsthand, to meet the Prophet, to interview the Prophet and ask him questions. And in fact, this led into their success, into embracing the truth. So the Prophet host, hosted them and they were able to pray in his mosque. He allowed them, the Prophet allowed them to allowed the Christians, the Christian delegation of Najran, to perform their Christian prayers in his mosque. Look at the tolerance the Prophet had. And this history, the history records that the Prophet, before the debate, they, they asked for debate, and then they backed away. They said, we are not going to do the debate. God said to the Prophet in Surah Al-Imran, فَقُلْ تَعَالَوْ نَدْعُ أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَنِسَاءَنَا وَنِسَاءَكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ ثُمَّ نَبْتَهِلْ فَنَجْعَلْ لَعْنَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ If you don't believe what I am telling you, that Jesus is not uh, divine, okay? Jesus is not the Son of God, and I am the Messenger of God, and my book, the Holy Quran, is from God. If you don't believe, let's do malediction. It was a tradition in Arabia at that time, between two parties. As a last resort, they do malediction, asking God's curse to be sent on the party of the liars. So they agreed in the beginning. But God said to the Prophet, take yourself, take Fatima and your, your women and your children. 99% of Mufassirin, commentators and historians and the transmitters of Hadith, as I am going to show you soon, said the Prophet took himself, Ali ibn Abi Talib, despite, despite having other men, only Fatima to Zahra, none from other women, despite having many wives at that time, and only Hassan and Hussein. 
But there is only one commentator, and that is Ibn Kathir al-Dimashqi, the student of Ibn Taymiyyah. Those two people, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Hazm al-Andalusi, they did not have good relationship with Ahl al-Bayt. They had a prejudice, prejudice against Imam Ali. They sided with Bani Umayyah. In fact, the worst polemic work in Islam, in the history of Islam, is the work of so-called Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Minhaj al-Sunnah, four volumes, cursing the Shias, cursing, cursing sometimes Ahlul Bayt, accusing Fatima, as I am going to show you, accusing Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet, of being liar. Shaykh al-Islam, Ahmed ibn Abdul Halim ibn Taymiyyah, who died 727 in Damascus and buried in Damascus. He accuses Fatima to Zahra of telling lies. Fatima to Zahra. Okay, the daughter of the Prophet. In fact, Aisha, Aisha one time had a, some, you know, confrontation with Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. The Prophet came and asked Aisha, Aisha, what's going on? The Prophet said, go and ask Fatima. Because Fatima does not tell lies. This is the statement of Aisha is in Al Mustadrak al Sahihain Lil Hakim al Naysaburi, a credible book in the Sunni tradition. It says Aisha said to, to her husband, the Prophet, peace be upon him, go and ask Fatima because Fatima is not going to lie. And this man, Ibn Taymiyyah, and his students and his group, they accuse Fatima of telling lies. And do you know that this? The, the, the Ibn Taymiyyah is Shaykh al-Islam, the most revered and the most sacred scholar in Saudi Arabia in Wahhabism and Salafism today. He's sacred. Nobody can criticize him. He's Shaykh al-Islam. He's more important than the Prophet Muhammad in Wahhabism. And ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Baku, Baku Haram, Shabab and all these organizations are the product, the byproduct of the thoughts of Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Kathir. So let's go and see what Jami' al-Bayan, al-Tabari, this is the father of tafsir. This is one of the oldest tafsir in the Quran. Al-Tabari, Muhammad ibn Jarir, died in 310. He was born in Amul, Tabaristan, today's Mazandaran, then moved to Sham and Egypt and Iraq, and then... He died in Baghdad, and he has a grave today. He has a shrine in Baghdad. Died in 310. This is the father of tafsir, my friends. Most, most commentators on the Quran, they grab this book, and sometimes they copy-paste. They copy, literally, they copy-paste from At-Tabari. So let's go to Ayatul Mubahala, which is in Surah Ar Imran 61, chapter 361. At-Tabari, this is, this is volume number three, my friends, as you can see. Three, okay. This is page, this is page 384 and 385. I am reading from pages 384, 385, volume three. Here, At-Tabari says, تَعَالُوا نَدْعُوا تَعَالَوْا نَدْعُوا أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ قَالْ كَانَ النَّبِيُّ وعلي وفاطمة والحسن والحسين. Okay. So the Prophet went with Ali, Fatima, and Hassan, Hussein. And then in another hadith below, فأخذ يعني النبي بيد الحسن والحسين. He took hold of the hands of Hassan, Hussein, وفاطمة وقال لعلي and he said to Ali, اتبعنا, اتبعنا, follow us. Okay. فخرج معهم. So Ali went with them to that. Debate with the Christians. And لما أراد النبي أهل نجران أخذ بيد حسن وحسين وقال لفاطمة التابعين. So here, أرسل رسول الله إلى علي. Ali was there. Why I'm saying this? Because Ibn Kathir says Ali was not there. And he learned this from his Shaykh Ibn Taymiyyah. Because Ibn Kathir al Dimashqi. Ibn Kathir is adored. By the hardliners and his book is the most sacred tafsir ibn kathir you can find it in every house he's the mastermind of certain groups they follow his tafsir though his tafsir is not the oldest 
His tafsir was taken from this, the Tabari. 400 years, 450 years after Tabari. Ibn Kathir came 450 years after Tabari. And he took most of his tafsir from Tabari, but then he puts his analysis and he starts changing. Because he's anti Ahlul Bayt. He's not in favor of the traditions that speak about Ahlul Bayt. When he comes to them, he says, This is da'if, this is weak, this is mursal. Mursal means missing the chain of narrators, either the entire chain of narrators or some people in the chain of narrators are missing. And forwarded on, forwarded on, this is the meaning of mursal. So it has no value, scientific value. When he comes, to every ayah, every verse in the Quran that supports Ahlul Bayt and praises Ahlul Bayt and speaks about Ahlul Bayt is being dismissed by Ibn Kathir in his tafsir, as I am going to show you tonight, my friends. So this is Tabari, okay? Arsala ila Ali wa Fatima. So Tabari says Ali was there, okay? Tabari says Ali was there. Let me show you, let me show you Sahih Muslim 1101 1101 this is 1101 Sahih Muslim my friends this is again let me show you the cover of the book this is Sahih Muslim part of the six books and here we come to Fada'il al-Sahaba Da'a Rasulullah this is Sahih Muslim Walamma nazalat hadihi al-ayah when this verse came Al-Imran 61 ندعو أبناءنا وأبناءكم دعا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم عليا علي وزدر وفاطمة وحسن وحسينا فقال اللهم هؤلاء أهلي Oh Lord this is my family because Ibn Kathir says Ali was not there but Muslim says the Prophet called Ali let's go to Termidhi 2035 2035 this is this is Jami'u Tirmidhi again Tirmidhi says the same my friends this is Jami'u Tirmidhi the hadith is here Nad'u abna'ana wa abna'akum wa nisa'ana wa nisa'akum da'a Rasulullah aliyan da'a Rasulullah aliyan wa Fatima wa Hassanan wa Husayna the Prophet invited Ali فقال اللهم هؤلاء أهلي This is my family, oh Lord, this is my family. So we've seen the evidence in Muslim in Termidhi. Then let's go to another tafsir, my friend, and that is Al-Fakhr al-Razi. Fakhr al-Razi died 606. Though Tabari is the most important tafsir, this is the most important by far in the school of Sahaba, in the school of Khulafa, At-Tabari is number one. It has no rival, my friends, because it's old. Tabari died in 310. But then when they, this one came 300 years later, Al-Fakhr al-Razi. Al-Fakhr al-Razi also, uh, he's from Tabaristan, his father from Tabaristan, Mazandaran, but he was born in Ray. Ray is a, is a village near Tahran today. But it used to be the capital at that time. This is why his name is Ar-Razi. He's Persian. So Ar-Razi, when he wrote his tafsir, historians say people started reading his book this time. His book came and replaced the Tabari. Because it is so extensive. It's so encyclopedic. It's so in-depth. It's so versatile, the tafsir of Fakhr al-Razi, al-Imam al-Fakhr al-Razi, Muhammad ibn Umar. Okay, so let's see what he says here in Ayatul Mubahala. Al-Mubahala. وَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ خَرَجَ وَعَلَيْهِ مَرْطٌ مِنْ شَعْرٍ أَسْوَدْ وَكَانَ قَدْ احْتَضَنَ الْحَسَنْ وَأَخَذَ بِيَدِ الْحُسَيْنِ وَفَاطِمَ تَمْشِ خَلْفَهِ وَعَلِيٌ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ خَلْفَهَا. He says, Ali was there. وَهُوَ يَقُولْ إِذَا دَعَوْتُ فَأَمِّنُوا When I recite the dua, you say, Amin after me. And then he says, ثُمَّ عَلِيٌّ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَرُوِيَ أَنَّهُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ The Prophet, لَمَّا خَرَجْ 
فجاء الحسن والحسين فأدخله ثم فاطمة ثم علي ثم قال إنما يريد الله ليذهب عنكم الرجس أهل البيت ويطهركم تطهيرا He recited verse 33-33 in the Quran the verse of purification وَعْلَمْ Then this is what he says my friend فخر الرازي وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ هَذِهِ الرِّوَايَةَ كَالْمُتَّفَقْ There is a consensus upon this that the Prophet took Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein على صحتها بين أهل التفسير والحديث People of commentary on the Quran and people of hadith they have consensus upon this riwayah he says something more surprising Fakhr al-Razi says وَهَذِهِ فَدَلَّتِ الْآيَةَ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ نَفْسَ عَلِيٍّ هِيَ نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ wow wow this is Ash'ari Shafi'i Sunni scholar died 800 years ago his tafsir is number one today today is number one he says this verse dallat proved that the soul of Ali is the soul of Muhammad he a nafsu Muhammad and then he says fal murad anna hadhihi an nafs mithlu tilka an nafs it cannot be the same but it is mithl mithl means similar equal وذلك يقتضي الاستواء في جميع الوجوه. Also he adds furthermore he says ثم الإجماع دل على أن محمدا عليه السلام كان أفضل من سائر الأنبياء. There is a consensus that Prophet Muhammad was better than other prophets. فيلزم أن يكون علي أفضل من سائر الأنبياء. This is not me. This is a Razi. A Razi is saying Ali. It should be according to this verse. Ali is better than all other prophets. فهذا وجه الاستدلال. ويؤيد الاستدلال بهذه الآية الحديث المقبول عند الموافق والمخالف. And then he supports his analysis that Ali is better than other prophets. He says the hadith that has accepted by all those who agree with Ali and those who disagree with him. المخالف والموافق وهو قوله. The saying of the Prophet عليه السلام من أراد أن يرى آدم في علمه whoever likes to see the representation of Adam in his knowledge the embodiment of Adam in his knowledge ونوحا في طاعته and Noah in his obedience وإبراهيم في خلته Abraham in his companionship وموسى في حيبته and Moses in his reverence and dignity وعيسى في صفوته Isa in his finest part, فَلْيَنْظُرْ إِلَىٰ عَلِيِّ بْنِ أَبِي طَالِبٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهِ Let him see Ali ibn Abi Talib. He's the embodiment of the good qualities of the prophets of God. وَذَلِكَ يَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ عَلِيًّا رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهِ أَفْضَلْ مِنْ جَمِيعِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ سِوَى مُحَمَّدِ This is Al-Fakhr Al-Razi. This is volume 3. Surah Al-Imran. He says, this means that Ali is better than all the prophets except Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then we come to Ibn Kathir. Died 774. Ibn Kathir takes most of his tafsir from Al-Tabari, from this man. This man is Iranian. This man is from Sham. He died and he's buried next to Ibn Taymiyyah. Both of them are in the same grave, same cemetery, I mean. And he was enchanted by Ibn Taymiyyah. He loves his mentor, his teacher, Ibn Taymiyyah. And I ask Allah to gather them together, inshallah. Ibn Kathir, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Hazm, inshallah. And those who follow them, those who love them, those who adore them, those who believe them, inshallah, inshallah. I ask Allah in this month of Ramadan, to gather all those people together in one place, in one place. He knows what to, where, where to gather them. He says he's reluctant to admit that Ali was there that day, my friends. Can you imagine? 99.9% .9 of commentators on the Quran and the Hadith, they say Ali was there. The Prophet brought Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein. This man has a problem with that. It's difficult for him to admit. Why? Because there is an anti-Ali virus, a deadly disease, mental disease, spiritual disease, spreading. And God speaks about this disease in his book. 
في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا It's difficult for him to admit because of loyalty to Bani Umayyah and Umayyah the stooge and Umayyah propagandist difficult for him to accept that Ali was there so he starts saying doubt see Jami' al-Bayan al-Tabari says someone said Ali was not there and then al-Tabari he says why he says فَقَالَ أَمَّا الشَّعْبِ فَقُلْتُ لِلْمُغِيرَةِ مُغِيرَة Ibn Shu'ba Mughira was used by Muawiyah, paid by Muawiyah just to curse Ali. His job, his main job was uh, maligning, slandering, defaming and cursing Ali publicly on the pulpit in Sham, in Syria. فَقُلْتُ لِلْمُغِيرَةِ إِنَّ النَّاسَ يَرَوْنَ فِي حَدِيثِ أَهْلِ نَجْرَانِ أَنَّ عَلِيًّا كَانَ مَعَهُمْ I said, but Mughira, people say Ali was there when the Prophet took his family for the debate. فَقَالَ أَمَّا الشَّعْبِي فَلَمْ يَذْكُرْهُ Mughira says, no, Shabi was not there. فَلَا أَدْرِي لِسُوءِ رَأْيِ بَنِي أُمَيَّةَ فِي عَلِي Tabari says, he did not mention Ali and he denied that Ali was there because Bani Umayyah did not like Ali. So he had to kiss up to the political establishment. He did not want to provoke their anger against him. This is why he dismissed Ali. He said, Ali is not there. Same thing Ibn Kathir is doing. But Ibn Kathir, not because he's kissing up to Bani Umayyah. Ibn Kathir and Ibn Taymiyyah, they hate Ali ibn Abi Talib. They hate him. And you may ask me, Sayyid, why do they hate him? I really don't know. Ask the Prophet. Why did the Prophet say, O oh, Ali, لا يحبك إلا مؤمن ولا يبغضك إلا منافق. If nobody was hating Ali during the the time of the Prophet, why then the Prophet should say to him, Ali, no one is going to hate you except the hypocrites. This means that there were some people at that time hating him during the time of the Prophet. They did not like Ali. They had a problem, my friends. Today we have people don't like Prophet Muhammad. They don't like Islam. There are people here in this country, in America, in the United States of America. They see the conduct of the Muslims. They see how Muslims are honest. They see how Muslims are hardworking. They see how Muslims are patriotic. They love this country. They defend this country. They have many of their kids in the army, in the navy, in the air force, in the police departments, protecting this country. But still, they don't like Muslims. I don't know why. There are reasons. They can't stand Muslims. They malign Muslims. They are Islamophobic. The same thing, my friends, we had. In every society, at every time, there were some people fi qulubihim marad. They had sickness in their hearts. So Ibn Kathir, he says, he, he speaks about the same ayah, but he does not mention Fatima to tamshi and the dhahrihi al-mula'ana. Walahu yawma'idhin iddatu niswa. The Prophet had many wives, but he only took Fatima. But he, there is no mentioning of Ali. And then he has to say, admit, that others mentioned Ali, فَأَخَذَ بِيَدِ عَلِيٍّ وَفَاطِمَةٍ And this is, this is volume one. This is Tafsir ibn Kathir. This is page 484. So he says the Prophet took Ali, but then look how he comments on the hadith. He says, مُرْسَلًا The hadith is مُرْسَل mean it does not have a credibility. It means it doesn't have cred credibility. وَهَذَا أَصَحْ he doesn't like the hadith and he says the hadith does not have credibility. Do you know why politics is bad? Because politics is corrupting religion. Because politics does not allow religion to arrive to us safe and sound. Because of some commentators who chose, some writers who chose to distort and to alter and to change because of this dunya to their political to the interest of their political agendas many people today are reading the wrong things the wrong stuff they are not really getting what exactly the prophet said and did because of some people in the middle this man comes 700 years 750 years after the prophet 760 years after the prophet 
and he writes something and today his book is widespread everywhere it is being taught in religious schools at colleges at mosques and people believe but they don't know very few very very few people who are smart and intelligent who allow themselves to go on a question and double check the facts we're going to continue on this my friends during the holy months of Ramadan this month is not just a month of worshiping this is a month of learning learning intelligently opening our eyes and our minds and trying to find out what exactly happened during the time of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh